I'm Rena Banerjee. I'm an artist in New York City. My studio is a place where I bring some of the neighborhood and the materials that I get from the neighborhood into the studio. And this happened more gradually before I even came to the garment district. And it happened with the use of these materials in my daily life, oftentimes in the home when I was younger. Uh, my mother and I would often come to Midtown to get these materials. And so the act of um, retrieving things was very much like foraging in a forest. So I liked the adventure of that. The labor that's involved in the making of the piece was really focused on this idea that maybe one person made it mostly because of the scale that you're looking at the labor and that the labor is revealed, whether it's the stitching or the anchoring being very um, clumsy, perhaps are all intentional ways for you to um, invite yourself to think about how that labor is less and less available now in the greater bazaar, which is retail spaces as well as art. So I really wanted to think about what is missing from this dialogue or from this language, very physically, what is missing? What don't we do in the studio? What don't we do also in the home anymore? And in some sense, there is a very, something very exotic about people's approach to the handmade um, that is essential in this kind of aura around art. What I wanted to do with this particular piece that I call Flower as a temporary title is to think about the funnel shape, which is a recurring motif in a lot of uh, laboratory glassware, but also references everything that can be made out of a filtering system or the process of boiling something down extracting it over and over again, separating it, um, putting it into smaller spaces and smaller spaces. So I think of the funnel shape and it obviously recurs in nature over and over again as well. It recurs in our body as well in the way that organs kind of funnel into each other and there's a kind of plumbing system that exists within our body and that particular um, motif was separated for myself to reference the flower. And I like the way that that can layer itself to really kind of explore in my mind all the things that happen in the life of a flower.